It's nice. Alright, so we'll lock our sunburst layer and we'll move on to the foreground. This is where we create our boxes that the text is going to go over. Uh, some people are probably going to be a bit sad that we're going to cover over our nice sunset there, but um, uh, it's all in the uh, interest of creating something that looks nice. So we're going to uh, make this box transparent uh, with a white color. We're going to give it a black outline that has a, a really low opacity, so it's really see-through. And we'll give it a width of about 6. This gives it a nice, uh, interesting effect around the edge. Now we're going to grab these handles up in the top corner and just adjust those so that we have a nice rounded edge on our box there. And we're going to go to the Align Distribute dialog again. We're going to select Relative to Page and use the uh, Center Horizontally and Vertically to get our box in the dead middle there. All right. So the next step is uh, I've got the Software Freedom Day logo saved on my desktop here, as well as a map that I drew for uh, where our event was held, and we'll import that. Uh, we'll have to ungroup them so that we can grab those parts individually. Put our map down, and we'll pop the Software Freedom Day logo up in the top uh, corner there, scale him down so he fits nicely within our box. And we'll just align those again. Whoop, whoops. <laughs> because the uh, the Software Freedom Day logo is two parts, we can't align it horizontally. Otherwise, it, it sort of stacks them all on top of each other. But it's pretty much in the middle, so we'll leave it where it is. Okay, so we're going to copy our background. We're going to paste it in place. And we're going to select the rectangle tool. And this will allow us to actually resize that box. And we'll make them a bit smaller. We'll actually put our text into this box and we'll use the uh, align and distribute dialog to just center him against the uh, the rest of the page so he looks a bit nicer all right let's have a bit of a closer look at him we'll uh, we'll make the border a little bit thinner bump it down to about three and we'll move him up there a little bit okay we might make him a bit longer, so we have a, a large text box, and we'll uh, shrink the corner nicely so that it matches against the big one. We'll copy him, paste him again, and move him down, bring up our rectangle tool again, and give ourselves a small text box. Right, so from here we can use the text tool, uh, which has a shortcut of T to drag a box for the text to fit in. When we drag a box we've got a little bit more control over uh, its shape. We can use um, some formatting tools like Center and uh, Justified. In the Effects menu under Text is an option called Lorem Ipsum which allows you to generate some random Latin uh, words to fill in your text areas if you need. In this case we don't have anything specific that we want to put in here so we'll just use that. Uh, we'll make a copy of that and paste it for the bottom layer. Again, we don't have anything to type in there, so it's easier just to use that. And we can use the text tool again to just grab that bottom node and resize the, uh, the entire text box. Okay, so that's how we made our Software Freedom Day flyers for uh, 2008, and we hope everyone <coughs> knows a little bit more about how to use Inkscape now.